Yo, when you click like, it helps me help my daughter. Uh, we're in, uh, Socorro, Texas. You know, and this is every picture just gets worse. A true John stupid job. Yeah, this, this looks like my uncle, my uncle Hector. And, uh, and Boone. Hector stupid. Boone. Hector stupido. <laughs> Hector stupido. I, hola, my name is Hector stupido. How are you? Oh my god, you don't looking good for you put a ceiling fan at the wall to dry the pain. Oh, I put my oh look at the dog. He he, he that lived, was a real dog. He lived forever now. He li he now he lived forever in my corazón. Ay Dios mío. Oh man, I put the tile over here with the cemento. I bet it. and I do the shower curtain and then above it I put a little storage unit for the towels or the rats or the mice to spy on me when I I put the John Elway, he is my hero. In my whore bed, oh, it's so cool. And a bar stool at the end, so I can put my camera on it while I whack up on my only on G fans. On <laughs> G fans. That's cool for me. I got fan, fans everywhere. Nice, nice oscillating fans on stands everywhere. That's that's always a good we sign. We got Mater from Cars. <laughs> what is it? What is <laughs> Mater? Mater. That's his name, Mater. Yeah. Damn, man, that's so fucking funny. This this how yeah. This is this is a everybody's got a king bed. Anyway, Hector Stubito knows even when you're a little niño, you get even the little hijos get a king size bag. Because, wow, this is... Are the kitchen cabinets chained to the fucking ceiling? Yep. Wow. Unless that's just... Uh, no, that's decorative. It has to be decorative. They would swing or something. They do swing. No. Yeah. Wow. What's the difference? Who cares how they're out there? They're chained. <laughs> they're, they're good. They're good, Chris Lane. You just tap it and then all yeah. the glass breaks? Yeah, all the glasses. And all. That's nuts. That's kind of oh my god, it's dominatrix, too. cabinets dominatrix. I put this stove over here and the tool block next to it. Oh my god, I'm Hector Stupido. Welcome to the danger zone. Yo, I like my yo, I like my cabinets a little bit kinky with some chains. Ha, I'm a dominatrix. What the fuck, bro? Yo, is that Jesus or Jesus? Either way, God bless. Look at this. John Elway is my hero. He's got a cannon on him and he has horse teeth. He has cal ca caballero teeth. Caballo. Caballo. De dientes de caballo. Caballo's horse? Yeah. Oh. Caballo? Yeah. Horse. <laughs> caballo. Yeah. He has the teeth of a caballo. Oh my god. Wow. The cowboy boots. Like a real cowboy. Wow. The good drywall for the moisture to eating. And then even my kid, he has another king mattress. I find them everywhere. I take them home and I chain them to my kitchen cabinets. 275. Where's Sirocco, Texas? Holy shit! It looks like it looks like side of high. They should call it side of highway, Texas. <laughs> oh my oh god! Oh my gosh! Ugh. I drove through here one time. I went to Los Cruces. I've been on this road, that ten right there. Me and Sammy. I was like right here. At a, a, uh, we were driving home from California. Jeez. And uh, I remember I was I had fucking weed from California, me, and it was right in my underneath my seat, and he, he was driving, and we're in fucking Sam's Connecticut plated Subaru. In, in, in like the middle of nowhere, like border of Mexico, and you look right and you see like Juarez, and Juarez looks like fucking what's that movie? The cool Sorox. What's that movie? Uh, the really good movie, the, the 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 heist movie, the Texas one, like the good drug running movie with Benicio del Toro, S Sicario. Uh, that movie, you ever see Sicario? No, that movie's fat as shit, but it looks like Sicario. Anyway. I'm fucking, I got like weed underneath my seat and there's fucking a dog sniffing the whole car. I'm like, oh no, we're fucked now. We're going to fucking, we're going to fucking. Sniff your car? Yeah, we like, we're stopped in the middle of a highway. I'm sleeping like this. I got weed underneath my seat. I we're like 20 fucking five years old. Sam's driving, they pull us over. I look up, there's a fucking German Shepherd drug dog like right there. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> like, we're fucking dead, dude. Like we're dead. And uh, they didn't smell it. I guess I shitty, know. shitty dog. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> stupid ass fucking dog. <laughs> yo, dog. He's like, yo, dog. I smell the weed. I'm gonna let you go. I'm the dog. <laughs> yo, I'm the dog. I I'm hope cool. you don't make jokes about killing dogs in 15 years from now. <laughs> yeah, I hope. I hope for a little time from now, you're not gonna be a bad guy about dogs, are you? <laughs> no. Damn. This house is fucking incredible. I gotta show you. This is like this house. Oh my god. You know what? I just holy shit. This is John Stupid's house. <laughs> Oh my god, I almost forgot. This is my first house. <laughs> hey Beth! Hey Beth! Our house is on! Yeah. Beth's stupid. She's she's the love of my life. Where's where's your heart? Oh, that's right. Oh man. Ten feet in the air, double staircase. A signature stu a, it's a stupid signature. <laughs> I put the little fountain in there for elegance. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh man, this thing is loaded with stupid features. 
And people love them. I had, and honestly, here's the stupid thing. I got the best lot. Look, it looks down the fucking, uh, the, the, the waterway there. A couple of great things that we did here. Um, I like to let my children push their child's table to the back of the island of my kitchen. And then I like to leave the spices out when the photographs get taken to let them know I'm a real cook. This kitchen's made for cooking. <laughs> I kitty cornered my utility from my stove to make a real triangle effect because I saw that on HGTV 10 years ago. Even though I sacrificed probably 15 square foot of usable, uh, of usable space by being a fucking idiot. I always throw my signature rock maple dining room set that's worthless underneath a nice light that was from 1986 and a house that was built in 2005. I love the neon fleur-de-lis with graffiti. That's just cool artwork that I'm into. Mardi Gras, baby. Even though, oh no, I am in New Orleans. Cool, no rug, five fat ass couches with one coffee table and books on it that you can't read because stupids can't read. <laughs> Everybody knows we can't read. Come on, stop making fun of me. I can't read, who cares? <laughs> hey guys, knock it off. I can't read, who cares? <laughs> I put the big ass fan, I got a buddy, Rick, he works down at the big ass fan. We're always drinking Becks together. He got me a big 60 inch big ass, so whenever I turn that bad boy on, it's like you're in a wind tunnel. That's this a good thing in a house. This shit is so real. It's so stupid. Look at this, I got another one for my room. I got the two bucks, I hang the hat on it. Got me a couple eight point bucks in my filthy room with a living room couch and non-matching bedding. Oh, a nice big dog bed for my 90 pound dog. I bet you this place smells like a dog's dick. That's wood faux painted marble. A stupid signature. Wow. Wow, this is, this is like, this is special. Yeah, this is, uh, this is the stupidest house. Look at this thing. <laughs> it's like a Beautiful playpen. architecture. Jet, you like that? I can build you one. I would love that. 385,000. Really? For the, for that backside. I build them back first. <laughs> I throw a couple, me and the guys throw a couple of walls up in the back and we, we have a back to front model in our framing. Very signature stupid. Uh, yeah, this is That's unbelievable. Unreal. Yeah. Oh, cool. Unfinished uh, boathouse. Yeah, this is a uh, 350. Uh, no, no. It's, it looks like it's in the flood plains and it looks terrible and uh, it looks cheap to be honest with you. One of a kind property right if you call them the Venetian Isles. Um, who's selling this? Who's selling my house now? Nathan Bell. Hey, Nate. Nate sells all the stupid properties. Um, that's the ugliest house in the world. That might be the ugliest, the, like, when was it built in? 98 bucks a foot, built in 06. 06, installed with yard sale fixtures. I mean, it's, it's unbelievable. 11700 Holiday Ave, Albuquerque, New Mexico, 465,000 bucks. Big money for this house. This must be in a great area. Not the matrix that I wanna see here. I don't, I don't wanna see this. I don't, I, I I don't mind the house. I don't, I, uh, the area must be literally the best area in Albuquerque. It has to be. Help me out with this. But I mean, this house needs floors. You gotta, it needs a kitchen. It needs a kitchen day one. The bathroom's fucking disgusting. It looks like they've been washing dead bodies assholes and like nothing matches. Um, like, look, look at this. Look at this bathroom. What the fuck is going on there? Yeah, we're not gonna do a, a vanity. We're gonna put a bureau on the side of a fucking pedestal sink and then put the toilet. And then we're gonna put a huge mirror and we're just gonna put light fixtures everywhere. This is this is an old John. Oh, this is my cousin, Sanchez Stupid. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes, he's Native American. He's uh, Hopi, I think. <laughs> I hope he stops uh, <laughs> doing some contracting work, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Jeez, this, uh, no, this house. This house needs a lot of work. It needs a lot of decluttering and uh, it's not a bad home. I like the single level ranch, but as far as uh, it, it, it needs, all, all of it, uh, and I don't know what the hell's going on here. If it was a bocce court or something like that, I didn't know bocce was that that fucking uh, popular in Albuquerque, New Mexico. But yeah, no. If I'm living in Crystal Meth area, New Mexico, or even rich Crystal Meth area, New Mexico, the vegetation tells me that it might be an ice highlands area. But it needs a garage door, paint, every bit of flooring. It needs a lot. It needs uh, 100 and 100 grand. It needs front doors. It could be good. So if you like the house, go for it. I mean, seller concessions. And, and this matrix tells me that they know that, like, you never want to be here, guys. I don't know how many times I need to say it, but this house ran at about 300, now you're at 465. No, that doesn't fucking happen. You don't get to sell your $30,000 car for 46,000 in any market. So um, unfortunately, other than that though, the house is nice. Five bedroom, three bath, big sprawling layout, two car garage. But it's got the, uh, what is it, uh, Breaking Bad vibes. 433 Garfield Avenue, Downington, Garf Pennsylvania. No note. No note. 345. This fucking, look at this addition. Look at this addition. It's like someone installed a forehead on their house. Look at this house. <laughs> it's a five. <laughs> they put like a hat on their house. <laughs> you know what kind of, you know what would look cool on this? If I gave my house a hat. <laughs> a cool hat. A big one with a big old brim. The fitted New York. <laughs> a Mets hat. Yeah. The Mets, the best baseball team. Man, what a fucking stupid thing. Wow, what a stupid... That's just like a cape. 
Like this house is like just your average cape. Like you've seen this house before. Yeah. This guy was like, fuck it, we're going forwards. That's crazy. Let's go forwards. Usually you put that off the back if you do something that insane. This guy was like, nah, man, the front. Holy shit. I want big binoculars on the front of my house. What do you think, Deb? Hey, Deb? Do you see my binoculars idea? Hey, D? Hey, D? <laughs> you mad? I want to spend 60 grand on the binoculars idea for the house. Yeah, put binoculars on the front of the house. Like a hat. That's the dumbest fucking addition I've ever fucking yeah, seen in my nuts. life. That is so fucking stupid. Holy shit. John Stupid strikes again. That that is, too stupid for John Stupid. <laughs> no, it's too stupid. I'm going to put an addition on the front roof of the house. That is literally like someone put a fucking forehead on their house. That is insane. And they like flipped it, which is like crazy. They, they thought it was like a normal house. Like, this is like sending a like a homeless guy in with a haircut to like be the CEO <laughs> of Chase Bank. Like literally, that's what this is. Like, all right, sir. He's like, ah! Like you put like fake teeth in him. You give him a nice haircut. You know, he looks like those bums that look like the fucking most interesting man in the world. You know when they mm -hmm. do that? They clean up the bum. Oh, and yeah, then yeah, they, yeah. Then they, then they send him into like a straight up job interview to like run salesforce.com. Ugh. Like that's what this house is <laughs> being flipped. Like this is nuts. Worst house I've ever, worst house I've ever seen. I can't, I can't, never, never, not, don't. I hope you sent that to me so I can clown on. I hope to God. Because if you're seriously I taking it, so. honestly, if you, if you are thinking about that house, I got a job for you. You can work for estimating for me, for John Stupid. We can do it remotely, remote estimating. It's going to be new. <laughs> You're going to be able to kind of just ask questions to the consumer on how big they think their house is. And we'll be able to spit back a number to them. Remotely. 3D scans. Yeah, 3D scan. Uh, old pictures. Uh, Measuring tape on your screen. <laughs> Try one more time. Just something. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, 66. See, I, didn't, I, I assume yeah, that okay. there wouldn't be that. That wouldn't exist. But. Yeah, right. Apparently, 6600th Road was a good idea for a... Oh, man. This house sucks, buddy. This is like a real cheap house. There's like certain shapes of houses that like jump off the fucking uh, page at me. If these this, are one. Like if these this are, is it in question. Th these six, are John Stupid houses. 6600th Road. These are some of my early work. I was working with my brother, Bert Stupid. <laughs> we used to build them. Just when you think of a house, that's what we build. Bedrooms, yeah. kitchens, bathrooms, house, windows, door. Um, real dumb shit. Real low quality build. How is that possible? 6600th Road? Is that a... It, well, that, it's, not, it's not based on like... That's my know. uncle, Senator Steve Stupid. He was the, in charge of road naming department. He goes, <laughs> why don't we go with four digit road numbers? Like 5800th Street. <laughs> yeah. yeah. People love that stuff. Sounds, sounds like home. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> sounds like a nice place you can be at home. Yeah. 865 6600th Street. Yeah. In the countryside. Don't think of names from a directory that you probably get by working in a city, use numbers. Yeah! You feel like an ant. Put the hands in, stupids! <laughs> tech, tech 86 siding, like this is, this is shed siding. So you buy this stuff for a text, texture, not, texture 111. That's what my dad calls it. There's like a million names. So basically the cheapest fucking siding you've ever seen in your life. This is like $32 a sheet. You can side this whole house for like $330. Um, every choice was the cheapest choice on this house. And at 489, I mean it's a, it's a it's a pushover of a house, a literal pushover. 249 a foot. I mean the land looks cool and it's and I know houses don't have to be built like brick shit houses in uh but it's in Colorado, it's in Colorado. Yeah, no, that's a that's a 100% pass for me. So I was confused. I was like 6600th Street in Colorado. We found it out. We had to Yeah. In order to find a house that was built by stupid, you have to think like a stupid. Um go to moron class. <laughs> Got a Johnny Stupid special here. 10 feet up. Hey, Raj, let's make this one 10 feet up. You weren't lying about South Carolina with the with the, the, the Flood height. zone, baby, kind yeah. of, but not necessarily, but we're still gonna build them up in the air. We're gonna get yeah. these houses as high as we can, babe. <laughs> oh yeah. I get it, I know the style. It's, it's, it's actually a nice house. It's a really nice house. This is what I think of when I think of a South Carolina home. A little cookout. A little, little bit of John Stupid going on with this fireplace placement. What? So you want to heat this whole big room, right? What size fireplace are we going to use? One the size of a small recycling bin. What do you think? <laughs> Talking 4,000 BTUs. <laughs> Boom. I want to be able to burn a shingle. Or maybe... <laughs> or like be able to rip your trash really small and burn it. 
cool, and then put it in the room. It's gonna throw heat like a son of a bitch. It's gonna roast your ass out of there. Um, so yeah, good job. Really great. <laughs> really nice piece on the uh, the rat box. I hope it. I bet you What's it's a the, is the offset because of the placement of it? They put it on a stone. It's like, just rat like, ass. Like, like that. Yeah, they they didn't. Uh, they John stupided it. They, oh, they, they didn't. Geez. They had to fit it around this air duct, so oh. they had to push it that way. They didn't think of that before they did mm. it. A little backwards engineering. They put that in afterwards. Wouldn't it be nice to have a pellet stove? It's because the house is uh, uh, mispowered. I know in this house. Hey, it's your brother Bubba Stupid. Thanks for custom building this where warehouse house. I know you build them skinny and 10 feet tall, but we like them big and wide down in Georgia. Big and wide, nowhere to hide. <laughs> That's why we do it down here in Georgia. Bubba stupid, good to meet you. <laughs> New in town? Big and wide, nowhere to hide. Big and wide, nowhere to hide. Unless you did it in the trees. Yeah, I love people who buy furniture sets too. Nothing say, anybody out there that has furniture sets? That's trash, just so you know, it's garbage. Look at these fucking, look at this. Oh, that's stuff. Looks sturdy. That's a nice gang of stuff you have. Wow, what a nice box of motor oil you have. Nice steel case Pollock chair though. I'll take the case of water. <laughs> oh, two cases of water, hello. Jackpot. Now we're talking jackpot, jackpot baby. Got a nice messy yard with a nice, nice old Ford uh, F, F-150 crew cab lariat. Nice O2 Ford F F150 crew cab lariat back there. Just sitting there. Look at this fucking. Look at this former gas station. Ugh. It's a strip mall. Oh, they put it into a house. Good for you. I know you guys got shit in the south that's just like out of control. Yeah, LJ Georgia. That is fucked. So what did old Bubba Guts buy it for? Did he buy it for uh, eighty thousand dollars? Yeah, you better not tell me. I mean, look at the square footage, y'all. So fucked. That is that is so fucking unreal. Look at it nice. I mean, do you know how many pit bulls you can raise in here? 60. 60. I'm glad this guy like took this place serious. Like the, the, the fact yeah, that like, that's scary. But yeah, bro. Hey, come to my house. Hey, I'm at this like business. Where is this your where is your house? Well, come over there. My wife's gonna pull your teeth out with pliers. I'm gonna cover your genitals in gasoline, and my wife's gonna pull your teeth out with pliers. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to LJ. All right, welcome to LJ. I'm going to tie you up and let my, my German Shepherd have his way in a small kennel with you. And then my wife is going to, you're going to wake up to my 400 pound wife ripping your teeth out with pliers. And I'll be covering your genitals with gasoline and WD-40 and other, uh, other garage lubricants. I'll be, I'll be menacing you with a chainsaw.